Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so great to see you again. Um, guys, got a little bit of different of a setup here. Um, let me know what you think. Um, as usual, if you guys like the videos, please comment, like, subscribe, and uh, you know, as always, always trying to innovate, try new things. So today, um, got a uh, little very mini Burger King feast here. I got fries and fries and ranch and ranch and burgers. So um, looking forward to it. Let's get into it. I'm gonna try not to make a huge mess. I'm gonna actually start by pouring these bad boys out. They're really in there good. What's a French fry without a nice hearty dipping of ranch? Guys, one thing I've wanted to do for a long time is figure out how to get the food in the shot, and I think I figured it out. So, and This is a new dawn and a new age, guys. Well, that's a pretty low flop fry there. And I will say, guys, I gotta hurry. I'm just kidding. Never in a hurry. But the Florida Panthers game is about to start.
it's so hard for me is eating slowly. I actually usually, actually usually eat kind of slow in real life. Like just in my normal day to day. But when it comes to ASMR,
walking distance to a Burger King. The previous place I lived in was like more suburby. So you couldn't really walk to any food. But now I'm in, I'm in a city. to have that but obviously shouldn't be in that I will say though this is not the worst I've had from Burger King I got some coupons in the mail I think that's why I decided to do this because I don't eat a ton of like fast food. And when I do, it's usually more like, I like McDonald's. I know that's not a popular opinion, but. I think the Big Macs are really good, but it's not really anything about the burger. I think it's just that Thousand Island dressing that makes it really good. Like otherwise it's just, I'm actually 
actually filling up here pretty quick. Um, it is amazing just how cold and they get these fries, just that color. It's like the golden fries with like, like no blemishes. I work in 
in sales and I'm inside all day with AC and everything. So, you know, I have a lot, a lot of respect for those people who do manual labor, who, you know, fix things and have to like, you know, work in tough environments or people who do pest control or whatever. Those really are like the unsung heroes. You know, obviously, the firefighters, police officers, paramedics, you know, those people are saving lives. But I will also say that, like, there's a ton of credit that needs to go to people who fix your AC or who fix your, your uh, washing machine. Or, you know, like, those are, these are important things. Or who fix your door because the door is falling off the handle or whatever. So, and I complain because, you know, I have a task at work that's tedious, you know. in the back of my head that like she's in trouble but she's a very very strong woman you know I think she could take care of herself but um, yeah I just noticed she was uh Sometimes I'm like, I don't know, I'll watch a video and I'm like, this is so amazing, I don't know why. And it's just, there's just something, there's a small detail about it that like, stands out. Yeah, I could never do like a big... 
big mukbang. Well, maybe. We'll see. If, um... If I start going to, um... I want to start doing, like, the LA Fitness thing again. Because I want to, like, put on more muscle. So that might require me to eat more, so we'll see.